talk to everyone. Limbus is a remote planet on the far side of the universe. Any ships that attempt to land on the surface vanish without a trace. Stories of eerie visions and ghost fleets have haunted the planet for years. One thing is certain about Limbus, its name is synonymous with death for good reason. Go there and you die. It's a crying shame it's gonna end like this, son. It really brings a tear to my eye, especially after all the scraps we've been through together. Hell, given a few more adventures, I might have gotten to like you. Hmm. Well, thanks. <laughs> if you want, I'll donate your share of the Elementor profits to the charity of your choice. And I promise to keep the little people safe and out of trouble. Well, thank you for that. Uh, we also need to go back into the route tubes to pick up some bugs and stuff so we can do that you there even though i'm skeptical make sure you ask the right questions on limbus maybe fatima can record the proceedings for playback okay you've got my full sympathy and support on this limbus thing i wish you only the best i really do don't give me that look <laughs> Uh, you don't hate me. I'm awfully sorry you gotta go to the planet of death, Mr. Boots. I'm gonna miss you something terrible. Alright. Everybody's a coward. I'm the only one up for this. Planet. Exit polls show the population of Democritus is overwhelmingly in favor of participating in this adventure. Alright, so we have to take our little planet. Um, for reasons. Um, we might as well take the planet and pal into the route tubes and level them up a bit. Because now oh, they've leveled with me. Yeah, let's let's take both of them. Settle up. All right, we're not just going to Limbus yet. We're just going through the route tubes to collect some bugs and stuff. There's that like one pole, and I had to run into it, of course. Also, we did find something for our planet, didn't we? We found some plans. So I'm going to talk with that engineer. See if he can uh, make sense of it. Aha! Yes, we do. Okay. A new battle skill. When we actually set off for Limbus, I will be taking um, the planet and what's her name? Stiletto with me. And the reason I'm taking Stiletto is because I know what's going to happen and I just like the Stiletto version most.
It's a lot easier than when we did it with just Pal. Uh, right now I lost my... There, so. It all looks the same. Oh yeah, we need to keep a lookout for bugs. Bugs. We've also got some moss to give to the Mug Mug. And we've got our planet so he can pick up that doll that the one Mug Mug lost. Like dropped. Right, I'm going to have one of the right now I guess uh, there's these special beetles I, I picked one up earlier in the Mysterium Levant these uh, cobalt ones there's only a limited amount of them in the game and there are very specific places where you can find them like many of the things in in the game you have to look around, talk to everybody and uh, come across the correct things and sequences to actually uh, find them. I 
What did we get? Normally it comes up with something, doesn't it? Uh, it looked like a beetle, a purple one. Alright. That's pretty neat. Get that. Another white one. Should be getting a nice collection of them. Um, maybe I should just check what we've got. Uh, eh, I guess it's good enough. I don't know whether they need any healing.
Right. So further down we go. Because we want to meet up with the Mugmugs. And uh, I don't remember there being any bug heaps in the red light district, but we're going to have a look just in case. It can't hurt. It's not that far. That's after they've seen the letter. Hmm. 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 Hi there. Ah, yes. Got that package out of here a long time ago. that again. Oh, it was fun. Oh, reading. oh, hey, look at that. Hey, <laughs> Detective Rook. He vanished. I'm trying to suss out his next move, but tracking down black market connections ain't easy. Everybody here seems to sniff my PAX connection a mile away. Yeah, maybe dress less like an obvious detective. No, you don't. Don't you still have contacts here? If you could find out where my killer is selling the Tetra or who he's working with, I'd be in your debt. Well, uh, we have a contact here. Oh, there's a floater there. Hi there. I hear the alien sorrow of the insects in your collection. You find them useful? Yes, I find them delicious. Alright. That's nice. Ah, uh, see? That's how you get the special ones. That's a farting brebulum. Uh... Yeah, we had that uh, man who sold black market things, so maybe he knows. Yeah, Tetra. No, 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 not for me. But... Oof. Funky, eh? I am researching a case. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's the barman in the um, uh, sex machine place. There's nothing here. Hi. Oh, what a planet. No? It was worth a try. Right, let's go ask Funky about Tetra for a kiss. You there? Yes. Mhm. Mm no, no, no. Yes, it is. Ugh. 
Ruben, eh? Isn't that where I just came from? Uh. Yep, it is. Uh, so this game really likes to make you run around, doesn't it? Uh, well, at least we're getting paid for this. Ruben? Yep. Okay, but where's the Tetra guy? Where is... Oh, wait. Bippy. There was one. This one, maybe. No? Hmm. Guess not. How about this one? not actually looking at stuff. Yes! Uh, okay. Well, that was um, useful. Or not. I don't. So I don't know. Yeah. Can I go report this? That was a lot of nonsense, wasn't it? good because I was planning on going back to an to do some looting there and gathering some bugs and uh, that means I can lockpick the chests in my office as well as one of the rooms in Frank Frank's flop house so awesome the uh, yeah now off to the mug mugs The thing that um, Detective Rug said about the bad dreams, I found that interesting because um, people were saying that people in the Sen dormitory were getting bad dreams lately. So I wonder if, if that is related somehow. Hmm. 
This looks like one of those pipe mimics, but this is obviously a real pipe because it doesn't attack us. I like the Mug Mug Village. It's like a good JRPG tradition to have some quirky, non human, cute stuff village tucked away somewhere. Or at least it was in Final Fantasy. I'm not that familiar with other JRPGs, to be honest. Alrighty. I'm just going to heal uh pal. Because he needed it. Yes! Firestorm mistake, that seems awesome. Oh uh, uh, yeah. And planet. That's uh, something. And now we can go back off to the lounge. Uh, pick up Stiletto instead of Pal and go to Anachronox uh, to hand in some Bippy photographs and um, pick up some loot. Now that we've got our master lockpick and see if Stiletto can use some of the switches we found along the way. I think there's one. It's a long way back to the surface, isn't it? Despite there being long corridors of nothing, I do like the level design. Uh, they try to keep it interesting. It's got lots of corners and stairs and ramps to keep it a bit interesting and not just a corridor room, corridor room, or something like that.
I'm also personally, uh, this is probably just a, a quirk of mine. I love it when um, I love hearing footsteps in video games, and I love it when they correspond to what I'm walking on. So if I'm walking on carpet, it sounds like someone who's walking on carpet, and in this case, someone walking on metal grate. It sounds like someone walking on, on metal grates. It's always disappointing to me when the footstep sound doesn't really correspond with what the surface they're walking on is. But I've never heard anyone mention anything about footstep sounds in reviews before, so it's probably just me. <laughs> It's one of the things I, I pay attention to and I always appreciate. See, it doesn't work here. It's still the great and it doesn't sound like it. They also have different great sounds and I like that. Different metal flooring sounds. This one is louder than this one. And I appreciate that level of detail. Uh, since we're passing there, see, this floor sounds different. It sounds nice and plasticky. Since we're passing here anyway, I thought I'd have a look in the uh, uh Rare items. No, no, I don't want to sell that. I don't uh, sell my wares. Oh, yeah. I've got lots of this. I'm going to sell all of them. And. Yeah, that one too. Not offering too much for this, but I don't care. Like I said, you could probably look around for trade bots that give you better prices for the stuff you own. But personally, I can't be bothered with that. It's also something I just read somewhere. I, I haven't verified it in game even. So if it's not true, don't blame me, please. I don't think there's anything for me to do here, but I just thought it was odd they make, they point out specifically that you get bad dreams from multiple tetra. And then there's this guy who sells, or uh, oh, who's hoarding tetra. And then they explicitly mention as well that there have been bad dreams in Zen dormitory. So I'm like, eh, that seems suspicious but I don't think there's ever anything yes you can do with that information no everybody's just sleeping oh well it was worth a try I can't imagine staying in a hotel like that, especially with the see-through flooring and everything. Ugh. Imagine if you're a sleepwalker. Oh, no thanks. Uh, so that was nothing. Off to the lounge and uh, collect stiletto. Have we got enough tacos for you? Nope. Uh, you dare. Come with me. <laughs> Dick. Yeah. 
Sorry, pal. Um. Yeah, we'll take these for now. And off to the station to collect our spaceship and go to an Equinox. gone now. You're the pamphlet lady. Oh. Can't really remember talking to this guy. Would you like a number? Uh, yeah, sure. Four. It is the divine number of the tetragods. There is no doubt. Alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For you, maybe. Ah, yes, the guy we got the pills for. All right, let's get into our ship and go to an equinox. Uh, why does that ship have the longest tunnel leading towards it? Go. Yes. Um, I still can't remember. Is it up or down that you need to go? I think it's up. It was, it was up, uh, it shows correctly. Oh, I should have brought Pal anyway, uh, next time. Because there's still that little um, robot that you can talk to. Right, I hope this time I do better than the first time I did this. Oh, damn, she needs Master Lumi for that. going I'm going to the tenement area it is a shame you always have to go back to the lounge on the center station to to get new um, companions it would be nice if there was a quicker way to do that you can go to Frank's flop house and break into that one room I think there was a room there that was a master lock. We'll see. And I think after this we'll spend some coin to uh, take a taxi around. Oh, hi there! Ah, yes, yes. Uh, yep. So now it's a master lock, so you see we have an extra button here. You still only have 10 seconds, but you can press this button. Yep, 
press this button to uh, extend your time. It's still really difficult, I guess. much super difficult as you have to pay attention to lots of things at the same time. Hi there. Okay. There's nothing here. Well, at least we got to practice our um, lockpicking skill. That might have been a reference to something that I don't know. It seemed like it. Like I said, I won't bother walking all the way back to the opposite side of an equinox. I'm just going to take a taxi to Rowdy's uh, because we want to go to our office and um, open that chest now that we're finally able to do that. Oh, hey, there's a floater here. Hi there. Okay. Oh, so he needs to talk to Grumpos, so we need to come back with Grumpos as well. Uh, rowdies, please. There we are. Rowdies. Alright, let's get to the office. And open that chest. I'm curious to see what's in there. I'm going to guess some heal grease or something useless like that. But it could be something cool. Oh, hey, uh, you know uh, Stiletto. That's nice. Where's the bouncer? Does he have anything to say? He doesn't seem to be around. Hi. Yep. Ah, yeah. Joe's Diner, eh? I'll meet you there. Uh, we do need to go pick up Grumpus and Pal. Because Pal still needs to talk to that robot that we met a while ago at the Anachronox Tours. Here's a picture. Uh, this is Sarah. Now known as Stiletto. Um, so Pal needs to talk to that robot. And uh, I can play this game now because I picked it up from that kid. Pal needs to talk to that robot because I can't remember what he gets from it, but he gets something from it.
Also targeted. Awesome. What is it? Gun upgrade that assures a devastatingly accurate shot. Uh, boots and shoes, sorry. Uh, yeah. That is a really good thing. Uh, I am happy with that. That was worth it. Also, we must have passed a lot of bug heaps. Oh, we, we, we took a taxi, so we missed them. Um, we'll have to uh, go around a bit. Maybe when we come back with Grumples and Pal. <laughs> so it seems only Rogue can have a big meaningful conversation about art with him. To the guy uh, with the BB photographs because we've got several more, or at least one more. How many have we got? Just one missing. Only one more. Right. I hope I can find it. Let's go to Zordos. In those electronics. Who are you? Oh, the guy who was uh, going to mug me. Even though he was super honest. Right. Yeah, yeah. What have you got for sale? Yes. We've got those. Clothes, yes. Uh, and bats, even better. We've got plenty of cash. I guess we could buy some more. are good. I can sell this. I don't ever use these so nope. Same with these. These are really good but I don't I tend to forget about them so I don't use them. Wow, I've got a lot of these. I'm so rich. Sell! Oh, I've got so much money. Exit. Oh, yeah, sure. Got another Elementor host. So, uh. Oh, hey, look at that. Cool. 
that's the shield cell, I assume. Yep. Nice. Alrighty. run back to the uh, platform area so that we can pick up any bugs uh, that we see in the meanwhile and then uh, go pick up Grumpos and Pal and uh, um, Grumpos and Pal and then come back uh, and do the quest of photographing the PAX people uh, that reminds me I can delete a bunch of photos because I handed in the pippies the platform area. And then at one point we should look into the into setting like at least one of the elementors up just to see how it works. station and off to the lounge both ways are equally long or short. I think if you do want to collect everything in the game, uh, complete every special like special skill, because everyone can have four special skills, uh, it's probably useful to have a guide. Alright, uh, yeah, Mokotus, and can I get, ah, I can't get Grumpus to come with me, that's a shame, well, maybe later. 
Uh, I guess we could go to um, to Limbus first. Risking every life. In a, yes, let's do it. Uh, mm hmm. Sorry, pal. I was planning on taking Stiletto to um, Limbus with me for very specific reasons which will become clear once we set off now let me see if we're all optimally equipped for this oh pain really yeah change it to that um what is the purple though with this only no. Winky is purple, isn't it? But I have no idea what mistake that would be. way um everybody's semi healthy at least we've got almost a hundred of these it should be more than enough I hope. Uh, I didn't save. That's all right. It's not all right, I guess. What is that? like a rock just trying to find the first safe point and I think it's the one in here isn't it it's the closest They respawn. And now we're off. To the planet of death. It would have been interesting. Uh, in, it would have been nice if you would have had other ways of selecting your companions and going back to the lounge every time and traveling. But I guess this is more immersive. Limbus. Go. Yeah. So far, far away.
It's odd. You, me, Fatima, riding off to save the galaxy together. The fate of the universe resting in our hands. Sometimes I think about how you disappeared from my life. How I lost the both of you at the same time. And how now you're back when I need you the most. It's like a second chance, you know? Between the three of us. I'm sorry. Were you talking to me? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, sir? Didn't I tell you to shut up? We're getting conflicting readings on a starship rapidly closing in on our course. Spit it out, dude. Drop. What's the problem? Well, either our planetary sensors are severely malfunctioning, or this is the biggest starship on record. Then your records suck. How big can it be? <laughs> Never asked that question. is a big ship. The purple lighting, the angry face, that gaping jaw. There's no doubt about it. We're in the custody of super villain Rictus. Ever read any crapped on comic books? Men in tights with big muscles punching each other in the crotch? Ah, uh, we're <laughs> unfamiliar with the literature. Crapped on comics were a line of superhero comic books based on real life superheroes from planet Crapped on. I used to read them all the time growing up. Is this safe? Nope. No. But this is how it's done in the comics. Come on. Meanwhile, supervillain Rictus shifts attention away from his new guest to conduct a surprise inspection of his treacherous henchmen. El Pinto and Les Enfants Terribles. Recruited by Rictus during his visit to Circus City, this powerful party of petite pugilists packs a pint-sized punch of potent pain. The Laser League of Devil Slugs. Discovered during the fall of the Hero's Saga, these malevolent mollusks are conditioned to kill <laughs> the Insanado Brigade. Two years ago, the crew of the medical frigate HMS Pudding encountered the villain ship. Driven insane by a canister of ricticide nerve gas, they were transformed into his diabolical servants. They march out in search of their prey. A man, a woman, and a planet. Rictus hopes his new guests will put up a decent fight. <laughs> All right, this is seriously one of my favorite ever sequences or levels in a video game. Like the uh the level itself, I guess, gameplay-wise, it's just the same as the others. You just go through the corridors, uh, kill a lot of enemies, that sort of stuff. But the setting is so amazing. <laughs> it's the whole comic book uh, story behind it is, is hilarious. So we can't go through the door, of course.
planet might make it out alive, but the rest of them are screwed for sure. Don't look to us for answers. This whole place was a mystery when we landed too. Screw the rules. I'm spilling the beans. It's like this. We're all trapped in a grand comic book contrivance. You're the prey in an elaborate game of cat and mouse against an army of super henchmen. With only a few scant clues for guidance, you must escape the ship before the enemy catches you. We were heading out to the Sunder debris to salvage scientific equipment when the villain ship swallowed us. Nice, huh? While the competition is out there scavenging the valuable stuff, we're stuck in here fighting for our lives. Well, the rest of the crew is. We refuse to participate in this twaddle. We're pretty sure that hologram is a clue to escape escaping. Push that blinking button over there to open the door downstairs and join the game. See? Soul uh, game. So this hologram, eh? What's that? It's a large flat TV. That looks weird. What is that? It's like a cage. What's that? Two flat TVs. Panel chair. And that's the uh, the long flat TV. And that's the weird thing. With a tube. And then we're back to the cage. So, right. Cool. So you press that button and the door downstairs will open and we're in. Let the games begin. Well, not before I save again. Also, is there anything back here? No, nothing here. Just making sure there could be bugs. Which sort of reminds me. I was going to look into this a bit. Mm, I still don't have these. Two of these, though. See, and that is part of what confuses me about this is that you can never put opposites in, so I won't be able, I can only put. Uh, either the purple or the green one and either the cyan or the red one but you need all functions need to have supporting bugs so I, I don't understand, does that mean I need to put a non-opposite one there? I don't know. I have two red ones, let's see if that works. I guess that works. So... So it doesn't have to be the bug of that color that goes in it necessarily. That's interesting. Nope. 
So what's that do? Zero output. See, I, I don't understand how this works. At all. Like, what's the point of these if you can't fill up the thing or is there a point that you can use them in any slot. Maybe that's it. Uh, maybe. So if I was to use this one then I can use the green one here and this one there. That works. I suppose that's how it works. And then the right one here. I guess. Still not very clear to me. So, let's see. Mm, it doesn't do much, does it? It does burn. Why does it do burn? There's also something yellow here. good one I suppose didn't have that much power but the harmony is all right whatever that means I mm. um, need more bugs especially these then Go explore the ship. 